कंप्यूटिंग एथिक्स एथिक्स एंड सेफ्टी मेजर्स आर क्रूशल कंसिडरेशन व्हेन यूजिंग द इंटरनेट एज द ऑनलाइन एनवायरनमेंट पोजेस वेरियस चैलेंजेस एंड पोटेंशियल रिस्क एथिक्स इज अ सेट ऑफ मोरल प्रिंसिपल्स दैट गवर्न द बिहेवियर ऑफ अ ग्रुप और एन इंडिविजुअल In the realm of technology computing ethics emerges as a comprehensive set of procedures moral guidelines and ethical practices designed to oversee the utilization of computer resources This discipline places a central emphasis on the ethical implementation and responsible use of technological tools It focuses on the ethical implementation and use of computing resources and includes new challenges that are raised by new technologies. Computing ethics underscores the importance of acknowledging and respecting the rights and properties of individuals within the vast realm of the internet. Through these principles, it seeks to establish a harmonious and ethical digital landscape. Unethical practice terms. Plagiarism Plagiarism is the act of copying or using someone else's work, ideas, or creations without giving them proper credit. It can involve using text, images, or any other form of content without permission and presenting it as if it is your own. Plagiarism is not only an ethical violation but also goes against the principles of academic and professional integrity. It's important to provide proper attribution and cite sources to avoid plagiarism and ensure that credit is given to the original authors or creators. Cyberbullying. Cyberbullying refers to the use of digital communication tools such as the internet and social media platforms to harass, intimidate, or harm others. It involves the use of technology to repeatedly target individuals with harmful or threatening behavior often deliberately and aggressively cyber bullying can take various forms including sending hurtful messages spreading rumors etc and engaging in other online activities with the intent to harm humiliate or isolate the targeted person to avoid cyber bullying do not disclose your identity to unknown person if you are cyber bullied by someone do not remain silent but take action against it do not be repulsive in your language rather block the communication with the cyber bully and share this problem with your parents phishing phishing is a type of cyber attack in which attackers use deceptive tactics to trick individuals into revealing sensitive information such as password username credit card details or other personal information in this way The individuals behind the fraudulent website may pilfer your identity and engage in criminal activities on your behalf. This could result in harm to your reputation and substantial financial losses. To avoid phishing, do not click on links, download files or open attachments in emails from unknown senders. Enter your sensitive information on secured websites only. enhance the security of your computer using a firewall spam filter antivirus and anti spyware software hacking hacking is a broad term that can have different meaning depending on the context in general hacking refers to the act of gaining unauthorized access to computer system network or data with the intent to manipulate disrupt or exploit them Hackers are highly technical people who secretly break into computer to steal important data. They not only steal important data but also hack applications and websites to change program logic. However, it is essential to note that not all hacking is malicious. Malicious hacking involves individuals or groups who attempt to gain unauthorized access to computer systems, networks or data with harmful intent. Ethical hacking involves individuals who use their hacking skills for constructive purposes with the explicit permission of the system owner. Ethical hackers are also known as white hat hackers. To avoid it use a strong and unique passwords, enable to factor authorization, install and update security software and keep software and systems updated. 
Always check permission and authenticity on the apps before installing. Spamming The spamming refers to the act of sending unsolicited and often irrelevant or inappropriate message in large quantities typically over electronic communication channels like email instant messaging, social media or online forums. These messages are usually sent to a wide audience indiscriminately without the recipient's consent. The primary motives behind a spamming are advertising products or services, spreading malware or generating traffic to specific websites. Right to privacy Privacy is one of the major concerns in one's life. The right to privacy may be defined as the claim of individuals, groups or institutions to determine when, how and to what extent the information about them could be communicated to others. Privacy policies come into the picture when personal information is collected, used and shared without the consent of the authorized person or business concern. The individual right to privacy refers to the concept that individuals have a fundamental right to control their personal information and activities safeguarding them from unauthorized intrusion or surveillance. It is a fundamental human right to recognize by various international declaration and national laws. Software Piracy Software piracy refers to the unauthorized user reproduction distribution or downloading of software without the proper license or permission from the copyright owner. When you purchase a single licensed copy of the software and load it onto several computers, contrary to licenses term, this is called soft lifting. And simple terms, it is the act of using software without paying for it or obtaining the necessary permission from the copyright holder. To avoid software piracy, buy the licensed copy of the software, never makes copies and circulate them. Intellectual Property Rights Intellectual property rights refers to legal protections granted to individuals or entities for their creations or inventions, providing exclusive rights to use, reproduce and control the use of their intellectual creations. The purpose of intellectual property rights is to encourage innovation and creativity by granting creators and inventors a limited monopoly. There are several types of intellectual property rights, including copyright your art and publications, patent your inventions, register your trademarks. Thanks for watching. For more information, like, subscribe and share vision of technology.